Hey barbecue family, this is Ryan Lane with Lane's Barbecue, and today we're here to talk to you about the king of the barbecue, uh, beef brisket. So this is really the most requested uh, recipe we get from you guys. We thought we'd bring it to one place where you could watch a video uh, as we go through really the four steps of cooking a brisket. Step one is gonna be your trim. You're gonna trim it and you're gonna season it. Uh, it's really key, we'll show you what fats to remove, what to keep, then you've got the cooking process. Really, you're just looking for a steady, steady uh, temp. Uh, then you've got the most important, which I think is the resting. You need to let it rest after all that hard work that you put into it. And then four is you get to slice it and enjoy uh, with all your friends. So uh, just stick with us and we're gonna walk through it. All right, so we have got here a 14 to 15 pound uh, Angus, choice Angus brisket. Um, this is, you've got your lean side right here, your moist side right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over, carve through, take this out. The beauty of them actually already being in the cryovac bag is once you pull it out, there's already moisture on there, so you really don't have to run any olive oil or anything on there for the, uh, for the seasoning to stick. So we're gonna start here on the bottom. Um, you've got a lot of this fat here. You can trim it off. A lot of times we leave um, some of the little stuff just because you can sit here and cut for hours trying to get it perfect. But I promise once you put the smoke on it, it's not, you're not gonna be able to tell. So what we're gonna do first is there's a large chunk of fat right here. You can almost feel it. We're gonna carve that piece out. This big, hard, dense fat is actually never gonna break down throughout the whole cooking process. So we go ahead and get rid of it. You can kind of see. So it's just straight up. And so this you could actually put in a little stock pot if you wanted to render it down. So this right here, we can get some of this off. You don't have to get every little bit, but we just take a little bit and trim it off. All right, so once you've got the big pieces off the bottom, we're ready to flip it over and start hitting the top. What we do is we tend to trim uh, the fat down. So you've got the whole top is gonna have a fat layer on it. And so you can kind of see here, it's almost an inch thick in some places, and then some it's maybe an eighth of an inch. So we wanna go to an eighth to a quarter of an inch across the whole way. Um, you can see we're gonna start here on the side. You need a sharp knife, and really the key is to have an ice cold brisket. So as the brisket starts to come up to room temp, what happens is that fat starts to soften and melt and makes it really hard to trim. So you wanna get it as it's really cold. Another reason why brisket is such an expensive cut of meat is, so say you've got this 14 to 15 pound brisket. Once you trim it, you're gonna lose a couple pounds. And then once you cook it, you're actually gonna lose about, um, you lose about half. So if you start with a 14 pound brisket, you're probably only gonna yield about seven pounds once it's cooked and sliced. All right, so we've got this part. We want to kind of square it off just so it looks even. This piece right here, so a lot of times you'll have this little shoe. What we've got is a lot of fat that kind of hides up under here. A lot of times if it's a really dense pocket, we'll just go ahead and take this big shoe and just cut it off. And you can kind of come down. because you can see this right here. The main difference in the flat and the point is the flat is gonna be a much leaner cut, whereas the, uh, the point, you're gonna have a lot more marbling in it. So you've got your flat right here, which is your thinner piece. Um, and then you've got, and so you're, you're actually, your grains run this way on the bottom. Kind of see they're running this way on the bottom throughout the whole brisket. And then on the top piece, from about right here over, you've got where your grain actually switches up and changes. And so a lot of people, if you're doing like burn-ins, you can remove where this comes in, you can actually remove it and pull this cap off to get those ends. 
All right, so that whole thing took maybe two to three minutes. So it's really quick. Um, you've got a pretty consistent layer running through here now where we got that leveled out um, as it runs across the thing. And then on the bottom, you got that taken off. You can take off a little bit more here, but I, I promise you it really doesn't matter. We actually cooked the brisket fat side up. And so having a little bit of this on the bottom is actually pretty good. All right, so we're gonna use our brisket rub. So the idea behind this rub is it's super clean, super simple, salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, and thyme. What we want is we want a way to um, add seasoning to the meat, but still letting the meat speak for itself. So this is really all we're gonna add to it the entire process. We always start seasoning on the bottom of it since we're gonna cook that side up. You wanna apply this liberally. So you've got a 14 pound piece of meat um, that's just really thick. So you wanna get it covered all the time. It's gonna help create a beautiful bark on there. Um, just add layers of flavor. So what we do is we'll pull it out of the fridge while it's still cold, we wanna trim it. And then we actually allow them to sit out for about 45 minutes to an hour, just to kind of come up to room temp a little bit. Um, that's optional. Some people say you can put them on cold go warm, that's just kind of how we do it. We're usually doing multiple briskets, so they're gonna sit out anyways. All right, so we're gonna set our smoker to 275, then put our brisket on. The goal here is to reach an internal temp of 180 degrees. Typically we'll take at 275 around six to seven hours. A lot of it depends on the size of the brisket. Once it reaches 180, we're actually gonna remove it from the smoker. We're gonna wrap it in foil. You can also use butcher paper if you choose to at this time. For us, foil would just works best. Then we're gonna put it back on until the brisket reaches an internal temp between 200 to 202. You want it to be just super tender. When you probe it, you'll be able to tell. All right, speaking of smokers, today we are using the Rectech Bull. This is our favorite pellet fed smoker. So the beauty of this one is it's got a, a wireless capability so you can actually use your phone to control it, turn it on, turn it off, regulate the heat, go up or down if you need to. And it's just something that where you can keep a consistent temp throughout the cook. The first couple steps are done. We have trimmed it, we've seasoned it, we've cooked it, and now we've let it rest for about an hour. Um, so we're about to slice it up. What we've got is we've got our flat hand. I always point that to the left. Um, and then the moist or the, the thicker part to the right. Um, in doing so, what we're gonna do is where the deckel part is right here, we're actually gonna cut it right down in the middle, right where this piece comes in. We're gonna slice it this way. So as it's pointing to the left, we're just gonna go just up and down on the, the lean side. This is our flat, it's already sliced. Then we're gonna take our point and we're actually gonna turn it and go the other way. So the brisket knife we're using has actually got a, uh, a scalloped edge on it. And that way, it just the way that it runs through the knife and it's really long. Um, so you can get through the whole piece of meat. That's it guys, so that's brisket, uh, really easy. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If uh, you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that down below. And uh, anything you'd like to see in the future, go ahead and comment down below. Or if you have any questions of something that we just skipped over, didn't cover, let us know. And as a reminder, everything is in the description below. That's the products that we use today to the recipe. And also as a special thanks to uh, the crew over at Rectech for putting out an amazing product. Thank you guys.